This is what California beaches look like right now after a giant oil spill polluted the shores. An estimated 126,000 gallons of oil is covering about 13 square miles of the Pacific Ocean. The spill was caused by a leaking pipeline which is connected to the LA oil rig. The Coast Guard immediately started an investigation and a cleanup to minimize spreading of the deadly spill. This also forced local officials to close several branches We are in the midst of a potential ecological disaster. We are investigating the source and potential cause of this incident. The earth consists of 71% of water, and most of it aren't even clean water. Unclean water can lead to an unhealthy and unhappy future. That's why it's very important for us to take little steps on trying to help clean our earth. And that's what we're trying to achieve. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Afrina and I am from Science Lango Secondary School. Today, we will be presenting you our group project called The Remora Board. Now you may be thinking, why did we create this project? Well, as you know, water pollution rates have been very high lately and we thought it would be a good idea for us to create this project called the Remora Boot, which is inspired from the Remora fish which helps clean the chalk's teeth. Now, we chose to do this project because we thought it would be a great idea for us to create this boot which helps remove oil from the sea without any human being present. To conclude, our objective in building this project is to help create a safer way to collect oil spills in the sea. In this project, we use an oil separation method called gas separation process. This process separates oil and water through distance and time, which means the bigger the distance, the quicker it will take for the separation to be done. The oil gas will flow out from the big pipe, which can be seen in our project. The pipe's function is to release the oil gas out of the tank so that the separation process can be done successfully. This picture of an oil separation experiment through a gas jar is an example of the process. As for the result that we get through the process, our project is able to remove oil spill and release clean water into the sea in a safer way compared to the original way that could somehow lead into an explosion due to the involvement of fire. Alright, the next thing is I'll talk about our group data and analysis. So based on this project, I've done some research on oil spills that have been happening in our ocean all around the world and it seems like the amount of oil spills have been increasing rapidly. So in conclusion, I think that our Remora project need to function properly so that this problem could be solved as soon as possible. Our project is controlled automatically by a sensor and a GPS that helps to, do, to take the boat to the location of the oil spill and back to landing to remove oil from the tank inside. The boat doesn't need any human supervision to be taken since most of it is done automatically. How does the process work? Well, like I mentioned before, the boat is controlled by a sensor. The sensor we use is called a microwave sensor which helps scan the area of the sea where there are oil spills. After detecting, the boat will take out vacuum pipes to enable them to vacuum up the water surface that is contaminated with oil. After the vacuuming process, this is where the gas separation process is done. The vacuum will take the contaminated water to a tank in the boat for the cleaning process to take place. Inside the tank also contains another sensor that helps sense the level of clean water and also whether it is fully clean or not to be released back into the sea. As for the remaining oil that is removed, the boat will go back to the mainland to remove the oil inside of the boat. And we hope that you find our video very informative. Bye! Bye.